Hi, hi, this is JJ Got. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a Pinterest 101 video. This is for you guys who are wondering if Pinterest is even a platform for you for your business. Like you've seen other people have success on it, but you're not quite sure if it's a space for your business. So I'll let you know after this break. Okay, hi, so this is just a basic little quick little tutorial for you just to tell you how you can decide if your audience, if your customers, if your potential clients are actually on Pinterest. So here are the three things that you need to do. Number one, go into Pinterest and run a search for your niche, for your product, for your service, whatever it is that you offered. Most likely, you're going to see pins that percolate to the top of your search query, which will give you the evidence that you need that, yes, people are on here pinning. Now, what I want you to do next is take a deeper dive and look at the video or the idea pins. You're going to see emotional reactions from those pins. The more, the better, and also the very, the better. So that tells you that the audience is not only on Pinterest, but they're actually having um, a great reaction to the pins from people in your niche that are pinning or from pins they're discovering from your niche. And so that's a great sign. So that's the first thing you do. And then you answer your question, yeah, they're here. And you have that deep dive knowing and they're enjoying this type of content or this sort of service or this sort of product that I offered. The second thing you do is this is for you. Um, look at your own video and idea pins and check to see how well they're doing. If you have unlocked Pinterest for business, and I show you how to do that in this video that I'm going to link here, and also I'm going to put that video in the description box, how to claim your Pinterest for business. What that going to do is I'll give you access to analytical data about where your audience members who pin you are coming from. Their interest is going to tell you about their locations, where they're located, their gender, and all that sort of information. You only get that when you unlock Pinterest for business because essentially what that does is if anyone else before you claim your Pinterest of business have gone to your site, gone to your Etsy shop, gone to your Shopify store, gone to your YouTube channel, and pinned your content on the Pinterest platform, Pinterest will then connect the two. They'll say, oh, there's someone who actually is from that brand. They're on Pinterest. Let's give them credit for that traffic. And let's also pull data from the people who are pending from your site, from your website, from your blog, um, and then also connect that data for you. And that analytical data will actually help you form your strategy, know who specifically is your customer or your potential client and what they're interested in. So that's the second thing you do. The third and final thing you do is then run a test run. Run a brand new idea pin or brand new uh, video pin or static pin and then wait because Pinterest is the long game. It's a search engine and it takes some time for it to run. Eventually, with your Pinterest claimed, you'll be able to gather information from that specific pin about how it's resonating, who's coming to that pin. Now, you can accelerate that by running an ad as low as, I think, $8, maybe $3 a day. You don't even necessarily have to run it for multiple days. But essentially, that's going to have Pinterest engines going to activate and deliver that audience is going to push your pin to that audience. And then depending if it if they engage or interact with more, then you'll know, OK, this is working. You can do that with more than one pins. But that's your test. So with the search test, <laughs> with the deeper dive data analytics test, and then with your own organic or ads-based Pinterest uh, idea, static, or video pin test, you will know if your Pinterest audience is your client, is your customer on Pinterest, and if it's a platform that's right that you should have invested more time in. And uh, yeah, and to keep the learning going, I hope that was helpful for you. In the search box below, in the description box below, I do have a Pinterest crash course that you can enroll in. It's totally free, but that's going to organize some of these videos and audio rooms only I've done in a way that might make sense for you, that might give you a big picture and piece it all together for you. I hope that's helpful for you. If you aren't already a member, I want you to join the J Squad and uh, it's free. <laughs> you do that by just subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so YouTube can let you know whenever I upload a brand new video. All right, that's all I have for you today. Um, I want to invite you to watch other videos in my series. This one here that just talks about Pinterest generally or this video right here, which is going to tell you how to unlock it for business if you haven't already. In the meantime, cue my outro music. Ba -dum, ba -dum, boom. <laughs>